to a certain extent, I'm uh, seeing that I, I, at this period, I'd like to take myself out of the equation is what it's coming to. Um, the painting has to hang on the wall and stand there and present itself as an entity. It has to be alive uh, so that people can establish a relationship with it. Um, you know, for my way of thinking and for what I'm trying to do. Um, and uh, so the thoughts, you know, about what, what it looks like and how it presents itself are very important. Um, and I've been working from the ground up on what, what it is that uh, uh, gives it that presence as far as I'm concerned. And um, interestingly enough, it's been discussed before by a great man a hundred years ago, but uh, I'm coming down to ideas of mass, light, and energy, um, <laughs> which uh, is very Einsteinian, but uh, um, I find a mass, if I can incorporate mass into the piece, um, it gives it a tremendous body, um, uh, not just a work off of, but a tremendous body. It's, it's corporeal. Um, uh, and uh, so that's a good start. Light is something that um, you know, painters have always been wondering about light in their work and how to get it through colors. I'm, I'm incorporating it through uh, mica and uh, uh, various elements uh, like that. Color, I do use color and uh, contrast. Um, uh, glitter from a uh, car glitter works very well, but I'm getting things that reflect light into the pieces um, and absorb light. You know, the thing about flower petals and the leaves, uh, organic material like that, is it doesn't reflect the light, it absorbs it. So you, you can incorporate light into your piece um, through using the materials. Um, uh, narrative is an element I've been uh, introducing. In the narrative, we have a story as humans. And that's something, again, I put in, so, so it gives people something to latch on to, that they can uh, understand and um, see the human element of the piece. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a language anybody can understand. I mean, if I write it in English, a guy in Ethiopia can't understand it necessarily. By creating symbols, anybody can look at it and they'll see somebody was scratching on the wall. And that's what's important. And they'll be able to associate with that they'll understand exactly what it is. Is somebody actually just scratching on the wall. It's not a matter of having to get a message across. The message will be that somebody else was there. And that's a pretty basic message, I think. So I think this works. Uh, the movement I'm introducing is, um, you know, as air moves, the earth moves. Um, I think pieces have movement and um, you can introduce movement you know, through scratching, clawing, uh, through composition. Composition is highly underrated, in my opinion. Space. The space is very important because I don't believe a, a painting is two-dimensional um, any more than, you know, a tree is two-dimensional. People are two-dimensional. Again, to have life, it needs a dimension. So, uh, you know, we, so we create, um, through its elements, space develops. Um, it is about creating life, and, and you have to imbue it with these uh, qualities. Um, the surface of the painting, you know, whether it's rough, whether it's smooth, whether you can contrast these elements, uh, I think that's something to play with. These are the aesthetics that I'm, it is a personal aesthetic. I don't necessarily feel aesthetic needs to be defined by a generation, and you know, what are, where are we developing our aesthetics as a civilization? Um, I think. I need to have my own personal aesthetics, you know, what I'm looking for in a painting. Um, I mean, I'm the guy painting it, so I think I have to be aware of what it is I'm trying to get across, um, what it looks like. And, um, you know, I, I don't set out with the idea of having a painting has to look a certain way, but I think one needs to be aware of the elements that are um, inherent in the painting process. And, and, you know, you can draw on those different elements. Each painting doesn't have to have one of everything. You draw on certain of those elements and enhance them, and that gives that painting that individual characteristic. But those are some of the, uh, you know, things that got to run through your head. <laughs> when you're working, it's, um, you know, you, um, they, the, you know why, why, it is you're, why it is you're involved in the process, um, well, skip that. I'm just saying that's why you got to take yourself out of it, though. I think if you take yourself out of the equation, you're um, you're allowing the painting to develop as it needs to. You know, I just feel that I'm kind of the guy holding the chalk. Um, you know, the blackboard and the equation are things that evolve 
on the board, you know, I'm just holding the chalk, um, you know. Got to have fun with it. Got to have fun with it, though.